What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I missed you. It's been a while since I was in front of the camera for ish days and I am happy to be back and I thought what better way to come back from a nice little break than by talking to you. Saying hi, seeing what's going on, and answering some of your questions. So up on the website, we put up a Ask the Buffalo post where you can ask me anything you want and I will answer it. So I'm going to turn my head yes direction. I'm going to keep it funky, fresh, and casual. I'm pointing at a screen. You can't see it right here. I'm going to read some questions and just answer them. Uh, you guys could ask anything you want, from tech to personal, whatever it might be. And if you like this kind of video segment, let me know in the comments, and we'll keep doing them regularly. I'll do them. Noah do them. Maybe John Q will do them. Uh, we can sort of all just keep the lines of dialogue up and flowing. I love to know sort of what kind of things you guys are looking for. Um, just a chance to talk. You know, it's fun. Uh, I happen to like you guys. Um, so, and I hope you guys like me too. All right. So that was so. All right. So let's go ahead and start with the questions. I'm just going to read this, the names of the people. Uh, you left a comment on Techno Buffalo website. I'm just going to pick some at random here. Uh, user Josh just wrote, question, when we have voice activated technologies in our homes. I'm not sure what kind of voice activated technology you're talking about, but things like that actually exist. Uh, you could say lights on and boom, lights go on. You could say fireplace on. If you have a fireplace, that will go on. Uh, it's very expensive technology though, and maybe you're referring to when is it going to become cheaper? Hopefully soon. Although if you're looking for inexpensive cool technology, might I recommend? <laughs> Clap on. The clapper. Um, Alright. Hey John, what is the best iPad game you've played since you got one? Um, that is definitely the easiest question to answer, and it's probably the simplest and perhaps most obvious. Angry Birds. I'm an Angry Birds addict. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I'm also a bit of an insomniac. Uh, so when I'm not sleeping at night, generally I am killing pigs trying to get eggs back. And if you don't know the context of Angry Birds, that is a very strange thing to say. Uh, I realize that. Uh, let's see what else we're going to ask. Uh, John, what Mac web browser do you use and what is the best? That is from Paul and Giano. Uh, Paul, I use Firefox as my daily browser. However, I also have Chrome and Safari installed uh, on my Mac. I do like Chrome. I think it's pretty fast, but I've just gotten used to Firefox over the years. That's sort of become my browser of choice. Um, all right, let's go ahead and move on. You think it's worth buying an iPhone 4 now or waiting till a supposed iPhone 5? Um, so yeah, it's two different questions there. I don't know why I pointed at the camera, but I decided to. Uh, so iPhone 4 on AT&T or iPhone 4 on Verizon? Now it's probably fun to say that and not have to be like, might it be coming? Doo -doo -doo. That was my dramatic look. Um, I, you know, if you've waited this long to get an iPhone, traditionally Apple's release cycle is on a yearly basis every June or July. Uh, and we're in January, so that makes it February, March, April, May, June. So we're like right smack in the middle of the release cycle. Uh, so if you want the newest, latest phone, uh, it's an awesome phone. Really not sure what the iPhone 5 is going to have, other than maybe some contactless payment and probably more RAM and some other fun stuff. Probably top for another video. Uh, you know, go ahead and get it. It's really a personal question. Uh, if you've waited this long and your phone works, then probably wait another six months and see what you can get. At least then you'll feel good. You'll have the newest phone for a year. Uh, then you'll feel bad again when in about six months after that you start hearing rumors of the new phones. Uh, unless you have unlimited pockets, it's going to be really hard to keep up with the latest technology. iPhone 4 now is an awesome phone. The big question is for the Verizon folks who've been waiting very, very, very patiently. I'm very hand animated today. Uh, for their phone, is it worth waiting for perhaps an iPhone 5 LTE version? We don't have a release cycle history to pull from for Verizon, so the correct answer is, oh. You know, I love to sort of say and give you advice, but in all honesty, anybody who gives you advice or anybody who says otherwise is lying to you. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we're speculating just like everybody else. The general thought and the consensus is that we will see an LTE iPhone 5 or 4GS, whatever they want to call it. Uh, probably 4G, I guess would make sense. Uh, in the June or July timeframe released on both AT&T and Verizon. Uh, but that is just speculation. All right, so let's go ahead and ask about some more questions. Patriots are best, 83. What are your thoughts about functionality of the talked about seven inch screen on the iPad 2 and how well do you think it will translate? Uh, I haven't heard about a seven inch screen on the iPad 2. I'd assume it'll be the same size. So 
I don't know. Um, John, what gear do you use for making Techno Buffalo videos, camera, lighting, software, etc.? I am currently using a Sony HDR SR11 to film my videos. I'm hoping to update that, that update that update that to a newer camera. I've had really good luck uh, with Sony cameras. I know a lot of my fellow tubers out there use DSLRs for their videos. I like a standard video camera, uh, so that's what I'm currently using. I've had really good luck with Sony in the past, so I'll probably stick with Sony for the next one. All right. Let's talk to Nick Alexander. What made you become interested in tech reviewing? Uh, the big answer to that is I am a humongous nerd. And if my nerd glasses didn't give that away. Um, you know, in, in all honesty, when I was in middle school, high school, college, and, and after, whenever I would get stressed, and I wrote about this in my top five ways you know you're a geek post, uh, I would just walk around Best Buy. Uh, it relaxed me just to look at technology and see what was out. You know, I used to religiously I guess religiously is probably not the right word, but regularly, uh, you know, read all the tech blogs, watch all the tech videos. I'm just into technology. I love it. Um, you know, I love everything about it. I don't know why. It just always resonated with me. Um, so when I saw maybe an opportunity to try and get involved and sort of do something which I thought was my dream and is my dream, uh, you know, I tried to pursue it and pursue it with everything that I could. And uh, every day I wake up with a smile on my face, knowing that I get to talk about technology and review technology for a living. I I'm just a nerd who loves tech. Um, and I'm just, I, yeah, I'm just happy that I get to talk about it and somebody has to listen to it. So thank you for indulging me. Um, I'll answer a few more questions. I don't know how long this is going to get, this video. Will there be a console wars between the 3DS and the PSP2 from Connor Roy? First name Connor, last name Roy. Uh, possibly, if you guys want to see one. We do have season two of the console wars coming out done by the man, the myth, the legend himself, LP. He is coming out of retirement like Rocky for one. Final round of Console Wars action. Might not be a final round, maybe we'll do Rocky Six. Um, we don't have anything on the schedule for uh, DS or whatever uh, versus PSP2, 3DS versus PSP2, uh, but if you guys want to see it, uh, perhaps we will. Those products aren't released yet, so we can't really do a Console Wars on. Uh, but once they are out, released, and announced, I guess in the PSP2 case, uh, perhaps we will. All right, so let's talk about another one. Will, can you name all 44 presidents in order? No, I can probably barely name the last six presidents in order, which is I probably shouldn't admit on camera. Um, I love the new additions to TV. When is John from uh, John Q going to do live shows? Uh, maybe we'll have John Q do some more live shows. We like him. Uh, our very own editor in chief, Sean Piani, asks, "Who is the day man a fighter of?" And the day man clearly, clearly fights the nightman. Nightman! Fighter of the day. Okay. Uh, bad, always sunny joke. Uh, all right. So, gadget team. If a person is in the market for a MacBook Pro, would it be a good time to purchase right now? With Apple products, it's very rarely a good time to purchase. Uh, rumors have upgraded uh, core chips making their way to the MacBook Pro. So if you've waited now and you can wait another two months-ish, uh, I recommend waiting. This is fun. I'm going to keep hauling through a few questions here. Let's go to load more questions. What kind of music do you like? From Andy. A lot of people just leave one name. Uh, I like all music right now on my iPod, which is also my iPhone. Uh, I've got just the Beatles box set on there. That's it. That's what I listen to in the car. Uh, I rock out to little Yellow Submarine. It makes me feel uh, happy while I'm driving. Yellow yeah, Submarine. You can picture me. We all live in yellow sun. And I do the shoulder thing like this. People look at me like I'm crazy. And they look at me while I'm driving at that red light, and I just wave. And I look even more crazy. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's keep going. What is your favorite phone of all the phones? From Logan's 11. So the king of all the phones. Uh, I am an iPhone user. I've been using the iPhone since it first came out in 2007. Uh, but that's not to say it's my favorite phone, at least for right now, it's sort of the best phone for me, but the OS is becoming increasingly stale. And I've got one eye, I've got one eye staring straight at the Motorola Matrix, or Atrix rather, uh, coming out for AT&T, which I think is going to be my new daily driver. Uh, I was really enthralled by the new 4G offerings that AT&T is coming out with, uh, Android offerings, that AT&T and Verizon are coming out with uh, in the very near future. So I'm looking at you, Thunderbolt. Uh, I'm looking at you, Atrix. I'm looking at you, unnamed Samsung device, which probably needs a name. 
Um, there's a lot of really cool Android devices coming out. I think the next phone that I use is my daily driver. Probably will be powered by this guy. You can see him right there. That's an Android guy eating a Techno Buffalo guy. Uh, if you like that, by the way, if you look at technobuffalo.com, scroll down to the bottom, there'll be a wallpapers page. You can get that image. I'm framing it for you. Right there. All right, let's answer two more questions before I stop boring everyone to death. Do you remember meeting me at CES? I talked to you about my iPhone app. Yes, Jesse, I do meeting you. I do remember meeting you. It was a pleasure. Uh, let's see, is it a good time to buy a MacBook Pro? We always answered that one. Uh, I love what you guys are doing with Techno Buffalo. Are you going to be doing mobile applications? And this is a question I get quite a bit. Uh, yes, yes, and yes. Uh, if you go to technobuffalo.com on your mobile device right now, you'll see we have a mobile version. Uh, it's a very bare base mobile version right now, but first priority is to sort of juice up that mobile version that you can access from your web browser. Uh, probably in the next few weeks, we'll start, uh, so you'll start seeing some new features show up there, which is kind of cool. And then right after that is development on mobile applications. Uh, primarily, we will be focusing on iOS and Android. Uh, so stay tuned for announcements on that. And last question, and I don't know why one means last question, one more question. Uh, perhaps, um, of the four major mobile operating systems, iOS, Android, Windows Phone 7, and WebOS, what do you think has the most promise for the future, and which will prevail as the king of the mobile market? I can make a crown for king. Uh, I would love to see WebOS make a comeback. Uh, I love WebOS, it was really cool, I love the card interface, uh, but the keyboard on the Pre and the Pre 2 was really hard to use, the screen was too small, build quality wasn't outstanding, and the hardware, which was unfortunately powering a pretty kick-ass operating system, uh, was underpowered, so it really didn't get the market penetration, not to mention there were some creepy commercials uh, and only launched on one carrier. Um, I would love to see WebOS make a comeback. I'm not necessarily sure I think it's going to happen. Uh, I think it's always going to be a dogfight between iOS and Android uh, for that number one spot. Now that iOS is on another carrier, uh, I think we're going to go see those numbers kind of go uh, head to head. So I think it's fun when the companies compete like Google and Apple, uh, the consumers win. Whether you are in Apple or whether or not you're like Android, um, it's great to have these two companies sort of going, uh, going head to head. And I do want to say, it's because you use something, doesn't actually make you a fanboy. At some point, you have to like something, or you have to be using something. You have to just pick one. You can't carry two of everything. So, I mean, some of these people that are screaming fanboy at each other. Um, yeah, just because you're using something and it's your preference doesn't mean that you dislike something else. You know, I like hot tamales as a candy, but I also enjoy your peppermint patties. Necessarily say uh, if I went to the store and picked one, it might be a hot tamales on one day. I'm not necessarily a hot tamales fanboy. I might also be a York peppermint patties fanboy. I also like them both. And this looks really bad on camera. Um, so that is it. This was the Ask the Buffalo. Super informal. Me just wanted to chat, talk to you, say hi again. Hi, my friend Roy. Is that hi? He does like a super big wave. Um, so Roy, if you're watching, that one's for you. Uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Check out another edition of Ask the Buffalo coming soon on Techno Buffalo. Um, the Buffalo does have a name, by the way, if you are new to the site. We did a contest to name the Buffalo a while back. His name is Shia LaBuffalo, uh, which is always kind of funny and made me laugh. So, anyway, that's it. Nothing fancy. John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.